I also want to show you how to compose your introductory paragraph, save that paragraph, and upload that paragraph into our Blackboard course. So you're going to put your name, you're going to put my name, you're going to put the course information, You're going to put the date. You can either put the date of the time you're working on it or the due date. I'm just going to put any time. Uh, I guess I'll put today's date. And then I'm going to provide a title for it. Tattoos. All right. Then I will begin. Young people today are always looking for ways to express themselves. Whether the expression comes by way of clothes, they wear or the color of hair or the color of hair they choose Young people find ways to stand out from the crowd. One of the ways I stand out from the crowd has to do with me expressing myself through the kind of tattoo I purchase. I choose a tattoo that will add to my collection of Everlasting life after death. Unfortunately, there are many elderly <clears throat> relatives who would disagree with me purchasing tattoos no matter if the tattoo is a representation of my religious beliefs although the older generation frowns upon my ink. I will stand behind my reasoning. My re I will stand behind my reasons for getting a tattoo or many tattoos. All right, let's pretend that's my introduction. Now I'm going to save it. I'm going to give it a name, Norman Golar. Argumentative introduction. I'm going to save it to my documents. 
because it's my personal computer. Now that I have saved it, I am going to close it. I'm going to open Blackboard. I'm going to go to our course. Click on Paragraph Assignments. And then I'm going to pick on Final Draft. Pick, uh, click on, sorry, Final Draft of Introductory Paragraph. Here I read the instructions, which are listed here. Then, if I want, I can view the rubric to understand how my introduction will be graded. Then down here, in this submission area, I leave this blank. I type nothing in there. However, I go to Attach File, I click on Browse My Computer, and I find my introduction that I just typed. Once I select it, I press Choose, and you will see now that file is here and I can change the title on it. I can say go look, I can say introduction go look. Once I have done that, I scroll down and I click submit. Once I have done that, I have the option to review my submission, which lets me know what file I attached, if it needs grading, so forth and so on. I may start a new submission, but I don't want to do that because I've already submitted what I needed to. And then I'll just simply press OK. Or you can bypass all of that and just simply press OK on the previous screen. And that is how you complete your assignment that will be due on Wednesday of next week. Thank you.